to them brothers and let them know what, what goes, goes on. on. Rolling stones in the rap game, not bragging. Lips bigger than Jagger, not sagging. It's brother backwards, I'ma leave it at that. That ain't got nothing to do what with rap. Check the facts, expose those cats. Who poses heroes, take advantage of blacks. Your government's gangsters, so cook the going on, so where y'all at? Fight for power, cause great responsibility. But who's stopping you from killing me? This ass is fiasco's a loop by P.E. If it's I instead of we believe in TV. Spreading rich and bitches, this new thing about snitches. Watch the masses move as the masses switches. System distant, but barely missed her. My soul is just to save my brothers and sisters. Get up! So 20 years later, of course it does while consciousness faded. New generations believe in them fables. Gangsta boogie on two turntables. So no love, so it's easy to hate it. Desecrated while the current awaited. Any given Sunday, so where y'all raided? With slavery lynching and them drugs infiltrated. I'm like that doll Chucky, baby. Keep coming back to live love life like I'm crazy. It may seem a little weird, but multiplying and dividing fractions is actually easier than adding or subtracting them. Just two easy steps, and you're done. To multiply two fractions, multiply the numerators, or the numbers on top, to get the numerator of the answer. Then, multiply the denominators, or the numbers on the bottom, to get the denominator of the answer. In this case, the answer is 6 over 35. Sometimes, when you multiply or divide fractions, you may be able to reduce the answer to the lowest terms. As a rule, math people are crazy about reduced fractions, and teachers sometimes take points off a right answer if you could have reduced it but didn't. When multiplying fractions, you can often make the job easier by canceling out equal factors in the numerator and denominator. That makes the numbers that you're multiplying smaller and easier to work with. And it also saves you the trouble of reducing at the end. Dividing fractions is just as easy. In fact, when you divide fractions, you really turn the problem into multiplication. Start by turning the second fraction, or the divisor, upside down, making it into a reciprocal fraction. For example, 4 fifths becomes 5 fourths. Then, change the division sign to a multiplication sign and multiply the fractions across. Here, we get 5 twelfths. And that's the basics of multiplying and dividing fractions. How do the tides work? Here's Adam Hart Davis with a biscuit, a pickled onion and an orange. Tides are a complicated business. Let me show you what I mean. Imagine that this chocolate biscuit is the earth, and this pink blob is me on Mersey's side, sitting on the edge of it, and spinning round and round, getting night and day. Now, let me bring in the sea. In a simple world, the sea would just be a sphere, even depth all the way round. But of course, the world isn't simple, and the main influence on this sea is the pickled onion, or the moon. And when it's here, what it does is to pull up the water towards itself, and it pulls up the earth a bit, so you get a hump of high water on either side of the earth. So as the Earth turns, I get high tide, low tide, high tide, low tide. Now, the sun also has an influence. Here is the sun, the orange, and when it's over here, what it does is to diminish the effect of the moon. It only pulls about half as hard because it's 400 times further away. So it lowers the effect of the tide. On the other hand, when it's in line with the moon over here, then the pull is in the same direction as the moon, and you get super high tides and super low tides, and they are called spring tides. And you get those whether the sun is on the same side as the moon or on the opposite side. Now, if that was all there was to it, predicting the tides wouldn't be too difficult. But in fact, there are further cycles you have to think about. For one thing, the sun is higher in the sky in summer than it is in the winter. 
For another thing, the moon's orbit is not a circle, but an ellipse, just like this plate, in fact. So sometimes it's further away from the Earth than at others. And there's even one cycle of the Sun and the Moon that happens only once every 18.61 years. How was it for you? Please comment on and rate this movie. Think you can do better? Then try to explain it yourself. Set. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under God, 